Welcome to Electron Online. In this set of videos, we're going to explore how to perform proofs in geometry. And most of us are kind of scared of that because that's kind of difficult. At least, we think it's difficult and it really isn't. The key is to understand the following. If you learn the language of geometry, doing proofs is actually quite simple. For example, let's say we have the following given to us. We have three line segments from A to B, B to C, C to D, and they tell us that B is in the midpoint of the line segment AC. Then they tell us that line segment BC is congruent to line segment CD. And then finally they want us to prove that line segment AB is the same length as line segment CD. Well, if you think about it, that makes a lot of sense. If B is in the middle between A and C, then the length from A to B must equal the length from B to C. So let's say, for example, that the length from A to B is 20. That means that the length from B to C must be 20 as well. And then if they tell us that line segment BC is congruent to line segment CD, with other words, they must have the same length. If this one is equal to 20, then of course this must be equal to 20 as well because they're the same. And then you can clearly see that the line segment from AB, which is equal to 20, must equal the line segment from CD, which is equal to 20. So it doesn't seem that hard to prove that line segment AB has the same length as line segment CD. But how do you do it in geometry? Well, in geometry, you need to know the language. You need to know, for example, the following definitions. The definition of a midpoint, which states that the midpoint of a segment is the point that divides the segment into two congruent segments. Which then means, because now you need to know the definition of congruent segments, they, they are line segments that have the same length. And then you need to know the word that describes this particular relationship. It's called the transitive property that says that if the length of AB is equal to the length of BC, and the length of BC is equal to the length of CD, then you can say that the length of AB is equal to the length of CD, and that then proves what we tried to prove. So, the logic seems straightforward, the language is another thing. It's simply like learning a different language, like learning a foreign language perhaps. And again, if you learn the foreign language, then communicating that language becomes quite easy. You can simply then decide, okay, all I need to know is the definition of the midpoint, because that tells me that if B is in the middle, these two lengths must be the same. If those two lengths are the same, that means if they're congruent, that means they have the same length. And the transitive property says that if A is equal to B and B is equal to C, then A must be equal to C. Kind of the same kind of thing like we use in algebra. So we're going to show you then all the various aspects of the language of geometry to help you prove anything that may come about. And then you realize, hmm, proving things in geometry isn't actually so difficult. And that's what we're going to do in this set of videos.